So are you still wondering if the MyQ Smart Garage Door Video Keypad is worth it? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you what my experience has been like uh, using it and owning it for the past year. So let's get to it. So as I was saying, it's been about a year since I installed this, and you can watch that first video right here. Now, I can tell you this device has actually been phenomenal. I've had zero issues with it, and you can see by this picture right here, other than just being a little dirty from the elements, uh, the actual housing and all hasn't changed color. It hasn't been you know sun-drenched and turned yellow and whatnot like some white things do when they sit out in the sun, especially plastic. And it has actually held up quite well. You can see also, too, that the image quality from the camera is still top-notch. And ever since I've put it in, I'm consistently getting anywhere between 60 and almost 90 days the temperature does have something to do with it so typically in the warmer months I'm getting longer battery life but even when it was really cold this last winter I still was able to get almost a full 60 days out of it which isn't too bad I do have a spare battery so that way when the battery dies I can just swap the battery out real quick and um, be done with it. I don't have to wait to charge it. The battery is like 29 bucks. I'm going to link the camera and the battery in the description. And I can tell you right now is a great time to go get one because they're actually on sale on Amazon um, for like 60 bucks. They're normally $100. So this is a great time to go grab you one. They're really easy to set up. They're really easy to install and they work excellent. If you do have the MyQ subscription plan, uh, depending on which tier you have, depends on like how much video storage, remote access and things like that that you can do. I personally choose the 30 day plan, which is a little more expensive. I pay annually, so I get a little bit of a discount for annual payment, but it allows me to have multiple MyQ cameras and not have to worry about each one having its own subscription because it covers all of the cameras. And uh, they've been actually really, really good. The image quality is great. Uh, they're reliable. I haven't had any issues. The one thing I can tell you about the video keypad that's kind of annoying is the screw. There's a little tiny screw on the bottom of the housing that you have to undo in order to change the battery. And that becomes kind of problematic. There was once where I dropped the screw and I had to hunt for it because it's a super tiny screw, very specific to that device. I'm sure I could probably go to the hardware store and maybe find one that would work. If you ever lose that screw, there's no way to secure it then. And so anybody could literally just come up and just take your camera off the wall and not worry about it. Of course, I guess if they have a little screwdriver, they could do the same thing anyways. But it just uh, is kind of annoying that that little tiny screw is all that they give you. You would think there would be a better way of securing the actual housing to the base so it's not so easy to remove. But that's just a design issue. That's not a functionality issue. So the camera itself functions great. I also added a in-garage camera that's mounted to the bottom of my garage door opener. And so between the keypad and that camera, I'm able to use the Amazon key in-garage delivery and I also have a MyQ smart lock on my door. So when Amazon does deliver packages, it'll automatically lock my interior door when it opens the garage. So that way you don't have to worry about unauthorized access to your house. So after a year in, if I had another garage to use, I would buy another one, 100%. I know a lot of people complain about battery life and you know I'm not really sure what the significant difference is between one device to the other. I can tell you that I feel like my Q could probably use a better wireless antenna inside of the camera. Uh, I think that might have something to do with it to where if somebody has a really weak signal, it's going to use more battery trying to maintain that wireless connection. I can also tell you that here in my office, the only thing that's separating me from that camera is one wall. And my access point is up here. It just says fair wireless connection, as you can see by the picture. But there's other devices I have in my garage that are about the same distance, 
that have a good connection. So I really think there's just some inconsistencies with the antennas they use in these devices, which could be causing the problem in battery drain. But my solution is get a battery. Yeah, it's an added cost, but think about it. Like right now on Amazon, you can get the camera for like 60 bucks. You get a battery for $30. So still for under $100, you're getting yourself a fantastic solution that gives you access to your garage using a keypad. It gives you access to your garage remotely. You can assign pin numbers to family members, friends. You can assign a pin number for like cleaning services or anything else where you have people coming in and out of your house and you want to make sure you're controlling that entry. And as you can see right here, you know, I have all my kids and, and whatnot with their own pins. So when they come to the garage and they use their pins, I know who's coming in the house. So it's really convenient. So for under hundred bucks, you really can't beat it. You get a high quality device, add security for entry to your home and gives you the flexibility of knowing when your garage is up or down. Just like the other day, my wife left for work and the garage didn't close. I don't know if something got in the way, but it sent me an alert that said, hey, your garage door is still open. It's really nice to have that kind of peace of mind. So that way I just literally was able to close my garage from my app and not have to worry about it. I have found all of the MyQ products that I bought to be very high quality and easy to set up and use. Now, I'm sure as far as battery life goes, you know, you can change your settings as far as like motion detection, recording, things like that. I originally had mine kind of set down a little bit low uh, to not record as much and where the distance someone would have to be to the camera was a little bit closer. However, I've since changed that because as you can see where my car sits, it's got a great head-on shot. However, as I found the other night when someone broke into my car at 2.30 in the morning, it didn't capture the um, person at my car because one, it was dark. And number two, I had my settings set to where my car is a little too far for it to even pick up the motion because I had reduced the sensitivity for motion detection. Now, had I had the sensitivity turned up, I would have caught that motion at my car. And so I would have been able to see whomever broke into my car from the side. I did get a picture from the top from my Nest camera because I have a Nest um, like floodlight camera that sits right above my garage. But it would have been nice to have that MyQ shot. However, that was my doing, not the camera's doing, because I had set the settings too low. I've since turned the sensitivity up, so I'm getting more alerts and I'm getting more captures, but it's given me a better peace of mind because I don't have to worry whether it's going to get you know, the action, so to speak, if someone's coming up to the house, the garage door, or my car. So again, I'm not really sure why some people are having um, these battery drain issues, but I have not had anything like that. Uh, again, I'm a year in. I get, you know, 60 to 90 days out of a battery charge, depending on the time of year. I just swap the battery, takes two minutes, and that's it. And I keep one charged battery all ready to go as soon as the other one dies. So it's just an easy, quick swap. Other than that little screw they give you, um, it's not a big deal. So I can absolutely say after one year of use that I can 100% say you should get one. The peace of mind, the functionality you have of being able to control your garage door remotely, monitor and control who's coming in and out of your home is priceless so again links in the description right now on amazon it's like 60 bucks you can get the battery for 30 dollars. so for under 100 dollars, you can have a nice piece of security equipment at your garage that gives you not only the video but also entry capabilities i will say that if you do want the remote capabilities you do have to have a hub the uh, myq chamberlain hub and again i'll link it in the description it allows the device to be controlled remotely through that hub uh, and it kind of integrates with some other things. So if you want that capability, you definitely need to get that hub. Again, it's uh, like, you know, I don't know, 30 or $40. You can get all the whole setup for, you know, 
very reasonably priced. Much cheaper than any kind of Nest camera, I can tell you that. So I definitely can recommend you go pick one up and go check out this video right here, which is the original video I published when I first installed it. I have an entire walkthrough of how to get it installed and get it configured. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.